I do it for the turn up. Well, guys, uh, did you like the snippet? As I think for the younger people in this room, it was quite cool and awesome to hear. But I want to ask the older generation, did you like it? Uh, as I thought it wasn't that exciting for you, and it was just a bunch of disturbing sounds. The feeling of excitement that just the um, younger people felt right now was most likely linked to a surge of dopamine in your system. What is dopamine and how does it relate to music? Well, dopamine is a hormone. It makes us feel good. It's a, also it's a, neuro, a neurotransmitter. Uh, dopamine works as a, a dopamine func functions as a work of expectations, uh, and uh, in music we tend to move back and forth between tension and release. Uh, and uh, says uh, Dr. Susan Rogers, the physical doctor of Berkeley Music Perception and Cognition uh, Laboratory in Boston. She also explains that as m music grows in anticipation. Uh, such as rock music crescendo before the chorus. Uh, we'll build up attention until it feels, uh, until that feel, uh, feels great. I want to talk about music and primarily about how it works with teenagers and uh, with the adults. Of course, when we talk about music, there are lots of different genres of music uh, and uh, we cannot uh, speak properly about that. But uh, for most of the people, our music tastes get uh, shape up at 13 or 14 years old. Uh, at our early 20s, our music tastes get locked pretty firmly. And at that age, uh, we start to listen uh, only that music that we used to listen before and for the rest of our life. Uh, it is, uh, and uh, music also works as a sort of friend that tells us what to do and how to do. Uh, uh, and uh, when we listen to music, we enter the room of privacy where there is only you, any musician or track, that you are uh, speaking with. Uh, and uh, it also helps us to, stre uh, to release stress and to uh, solve some problems. Lyrics tells us how to behave, like here is what uh, I should have said to that guy or here, here is how should I be putting myself out into the world, also adds Dr. Susan Rogers. Uh, it is uh, certainly true for me because uh, I can definitely say that music made me into who I am right now. Uh, and there was a time uh, in my life when I, was, uh, when I wasn't able to listen to any of kind of music. And it was about two years ago when my dad grounded me for th full three summer months and he stripped me from everything. Uh, he stripped me from internet, games, hobbies, but most importantly, he took music. And it was a big loss for me. Uh, and I felt really bad at that time. And I actually realized that uh, my whole being and my soul are connected to music. But also I realized that my dad is not really into modern music. And, uh, and, it, was st and it still wasn't the reason of why he took it from me. Uh, but uh, I, wh while I was putting some tracks in our, on in our car, I still could see in his eyes that he doesn't really like it. And I started asking myself, why doesn't my dad like new music, but my older friends still enjoy it? Uh, and uh, we often hear the older generation say, that the new music is not great and what was made in the past is better. They even used to sing us a song, The Day the Music Died from like 1972. That's really a lot, like a long time ago. And uh, it meaning, meaning that only their music was music. Uh, and uh, there was an uh, explanation of that by uh, Frank uh, T. McAndrew, the Cornelia H. Doodley professor of Knox College. And he says that, uh, after 33, we tend to stop listening to new releases uh, and uh, we listen what our generation and we used to listen before. Uh, but also there is a biological ex explanation, which was made by Oliver Bones and Christopher Plagg, the Manchester University and uh, Chinese University of Hong Kong. Uh, and they say that after uh, we get old, our brain starts to define music less better and uh, different chords and melodies. and. Uh, and that's why some old songs stay, stay better in our brains than the new ones. But yet there is even a simpler explanation. In psychology, we have such a term which is called mere exposure effect, uh, meaning that the less you're open to something, the less you like it. Uh, in our teenagers, we used to actually search and listen for music a, long, a, lo a lot of time, a lot of time. 
and uh, in our teenagers, uh, in our adult life, over 30, we stop listening to some new releases because we also have new responsibilities, such as family, job, and taxes. Uh, and it's very important to uh, realize because uh, some people say that uh, teenagers are also quite uh, uh, quite like problematic, they have lots of things to do. But also the research w which was done by Frank T. McAndrew uh, says that uh, everything that we experience and we go through in our teenagers uh, is more intense than what we feel in our uh, adult life. Uh, and also it it's kill, uh, it's also can be a reason of why uh, some uh, the music that we listen at our teenagers will, was also quite interesting uh, for us for the rest of our life. But you can stop me and say that like there is Kanye West who is over 40, but he still uh, still makes interesting music and uh, he's still in style. Or Drake being 33 and he's in top charts. Or Travis Scott or Lil Wayne who is like 37. And uh, uh, they're all together a different case uh, because uh, they've been working in this industry for a long time. They've been making music and they know what their fans basically just like. Uh, it is also true that there are people uh, twice as our age who actually st still uh, feel our vibe, which is really cool to understand. Uh, and some people call them uh, cool, but most of the people say that they'll never grow up. And I think uh, I cannot agree with that because um, I think that those people have a special gift inside, inside their heart uh, and they have that ability of their brain not to lose that strength so that they could listen to some new music and uh, they can become a great friend to us, uh, actually helping us and making us better through uh, talking and everything. And uh, it's really important to realize too. Uh, and that's why our music connects us. And uh, at the end, I would like to say that I'm really thankful for all the people that are around me who also actually uh, supporting me and uh, helping me with everything that I do. And uh, I hope that my brain also stays strong because in future I would like really to help some teens with the same kind of things and uh, uh, problems so that I could understand them and uh, also be on their vibe. Thank you. Stay true to your music.